Look where the lane line is. Look Stay at the, the f See the, the lane sheriff? Line. There's a bike you arrow. Ride in the f sheriff tree. lane. Follow this the f wall. Well, a Cleveland cyclist says he was almost hit this morning by a driver who refused to share the road. And tonight, he is sharing video of this scary incident only with News 5. Okay, the law says you can pass a cyclist down the road, but you have to give that rider at least three feet. A man who only wants to be known as Tyler says the driver who passed him gave him mere inches. Well, News 5's Amanda Van Allen is live tonight with his message to make the road safe for everyone. Danita and Rob, that cyclist is still incredibly shaken up after that near miss. Now he says signs like this are posted all across the city and he's wondering if people just aren't seeing them or they don't care. This video shows the moment a driver passed Tyler's bike Monday morning, coming within inches of his body. When they both stop at a red light on Detroit Road, Tyler says he noticed the driver's windows down, so he told him he was too close. You got to leave three feet to pass a cyclist. I didn't touch your car. You touch your car, but you got to leave three. You got to leave three feet. What? Look where the lane line is. Look at the. See the, the sheriff? Line. There's a bike you arrow. Ride in the the sheriff lane. The laws. You follow the laws. I think there's a sense of entitlement that comes with uh, drivers in their cars. Tyler says he rides his bike to work a few days a week and he almost always has some sort of an incident. Whether it's getting clipped by a car, having a, a driver very angry and aggressive and insulting, having even RTA buses uh, cut me off. On this stretch of Detroit, bikes and cars share the road, which means cyclists can take up the entire lane if they need to. And that also means cars can pass them, but they have to give the rider at least three feet of clearance when doing so. Tyler says this driver barely gave him a foot. It feels very unsafe, very dangerous, uh, which is part of, the, part of the risk you take on as a cyclist, knowing that people aren't aware of the laws and how they affect them. Tyler says he's speaking out now in hopes of educating drivers and cyclists. And I want more people to be aware of the laws and practice safe driving, safe cycling, so that more people are able to enjoy these things. Tyler says he reported this incident and other incidents like it to Cleveland police, but he has never heard anything back. We also reached out to Cleveland police and we are still waiting for comment. Live tonight in Cleveland, Amanda Van Allen, News 5.